Falls So Hard was the last song that I wrote for this album, which automatically makes it the most current song. It's about uh, m my wife that is eight months pregnant right now and knowing that my life is about to change forever in a couple of weeks. And I sort of knew that I wanted to write a song um, about this and to my little baby girl, you know, and I knew that it couldn't be this uh, sort of silent lullaby song. It should be like an up-tempo, optimistic song about being happy and turning a page and writing a new chapter in this book, this book of life. And I wanted to, to write something that was not about me, but was about her. And I have this line in the song that is everything I thought was about me, it was always about you. And all the cliches that all my friends that have kids, they've told me and that I know are true. Um, and it's going to be fun looking back at these lyrics and at this song and be like, so this is actually what I expected. And then I knew that I was going to fall in love with this little girl again, you know, and I never knew that I could fall so hard again. But um, it is sort of like a being in love sort of mindset that you're in, I guess, the first couple of months. And... Let's be honest, for the rest of your life, you'll be, that will be the most important thing in your life. I think that's going to be a very good thing for me because I've lived my life and with me in the center of that life for 28 years now. So for something else and for some other person to come into my life and be the most important thing, I think that's going to be a, an amazing thing to experience and a good thing for me. I wrote this song in the middle of the night, just sitting by the piano and... I took it to the studio the next day and the guys in the studio, they, they loved it and uh, we sort of banged it out in 20 minutes and that's when that's how the magic happens. Usually for me, if it's fast, it's an indication of like it's, it's good. So uh, I got a very special feeling about this song. I, I, it's always a little bit um, scary and stressful to release something that is that close to your heart and that honest and personal. and. Uh, it has this live feel. I can't wait to be on stage and play this with the band. It's going to be a blast. It's not the only song on this album that is about family. A song like My Blood is for my brother. Basically, I feel like these songs that ended up on this album are the most personal ones. They all have that one thing in common that it's something that's very close to my heart. It's, it felt like I had to write all these songs, you know. And... Um, my Blood is a song for my brother. It's about letting him know that I'm always going to be there for him. And whatever he's going through, whatever struggles he's going through, I'm going to be one phone call away. And another song that I just felt like I had to write and uh, let him know that blood is thicker than water forever, you know. I mean, I've always had some amazing people in my life. I feel like knowing that I'm about to become a dad that um, gave my life a completely new perspective this is my fifth album and gave me a chance to sort of look back also this whole pandemic thing and being home and not being out touring and being gone all the time just really looking back at my journey and uh, embracing that embracing all the people all the people that helped me along the way this is like a tribute to all the people that made all this possible made it happen you know so it's, it's there are songs about family, there are songs about my love, of course, songs about my brother and my friends' relationships, past relationships, a song like Stones, you know, basically just saying it's okay that some relationships end and I'm just happy for that summer that we have right there. I'm sorry for the love that you gave me there and I'm sorry for the lesson that you taught me and it made me a better person and made me the man I am today. So it's very, the headlines are, you know, stuff like that. It's uh, it's life, man, and it's a retrospect. It's growing, becoming older, and becoming a dad. Thoughts about that, you know, it changes the way you look at family, also, because I'm about to start my own family now, and there are things that I know for sure that I will write about on the next album that will change the way that I look at my own mom and dad, and the way that they were there for me, um, and things that you appreciate in a different way now that it puts. A, a different light on your life um, but basically just looking back at the journey and trying to understand that a little bit better to make the next chapter in this book uh, as dope as possible I, f 
I would love to say that I'm still the same person. Uh, I mean, 10 years ago, I think the biggest difference was like I was a little bit more naive in a good way. I feel like I'm still like a kid and still naive. I think it's important to 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 keep that sort of um, that childish childish way of living life, you know, being curious and being a little bit naive and believing in the best in people and stuff. I would say the way that I was chasing girls and the way I was uh, looking at relationships, I appreciate it more now, I would say, because you take it sort of for granted when you don't know how much it means to you. Also, at the time, you know, the the girls that broke my heart, the friendships that ended, the things that I went through, um, for some reason at the time I couldn't see the, the blessing in that, but I can now. Um, and it's just life lessons. You grow and you learn and you take all the relationships with you and they, they sort of shape the person that you are in the future. And they definitely all changed me and shaped the way and made, my, made me the, the man I am today. So I'm, I'm looking back now and I'm grateful for everything, the ups and the downs. And it's fun to look back with that perspective. It m makes it meaningful in a different way. It was not all for... It was not all for nothing, you know. It actually, there's something awesome came out of it. And I'm a better husband. I'm a better uh, son. I'm a better brother. I'm a better friend today than I was back then, uh, because I'm 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 aware of different things, and I'm not taking anything for granted. I would say, as a songwriter, it's it's kind of therapy for me writing songs and writing an album like this. Um, there's something about all the downs in your life if you write a song about it you're left with the feeling that maybe it was a shitty period of my life or maybe it was not the best outcome not the outcome that i hoped for but at least the song came out of it so for me writing a song about some shit that happened in my life really has this therapeutic effect on me because i made something awesome out of something terrible um so that's what I'm going to do, I guess. And I hope for the rest of my life with everything that I'm going through, good and bad, it's memories that will be there forever, you know, words on how I felt. It's like a diary. And looking back at my my four albums that I have released, I feel like this fifth album is, is me in a different way. It's very personal. It's very honest. And it's me really. That's another metaphor for why it's called my blood. You know, it's it's my it's my my insight, you know.